गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास फाइव होप क्लास फाइव यू ऑल आर फाइन ओके नाउ सी बिफोर वीकली वन डे वीज टू मीट नाउ डेज वी आर मीटिंग थ्री डेज इन अ वीक सो ऑलमोस्ट थ्री वीडियोज ओके एंड वाट एवर वर्क आई विल गिव यू ऑल विल डू इट इन द लास्ट क्लास आई गेव यू इंटर डिपेंडेंस इन द इन्वायरमेंट ऑन मंडे टू ड्रॉ ओके सो यू कैन ड्रॉ इट ओके इन यू कॉपी एंड लर्न एवरी थिंग्स ओके वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट हैव शोन मी द ड्राइंग ओके इट वॉज गुड नाउ सो यू सी इन द लास्ट क्लास स्टूडेंट वी हैव डन अप टू प्रोड्यूसर ओके कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ लिविंग कंपनोन दैट वी हैव डन अप टू द प्रोड्यूसर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अबाउट कंज्यूमर ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कंज्यूमर्स सो नाउ यू सी हु आर कंसिडर टू बी द कंज्यूमर नाउ यू नो प्लांट्स लास्ट टाइम यू हैव डिस्कस दैट प्लांट्स आर द प्रोड्यूसर दे प्रोड्यूसेज देयर ओन गुड्स ओके दे ओन फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सनलाइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वाटर ओके कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो यू सी हियर कंज्यूमर कैनॉट प्रोड्यूस anything of their own so they need to depend on other okay for their food for their survival so you see any living organism that cannot prepare their own food okay so they have to depend on plant or they have to depend on any other animal for their survival for their food they are called consumers okay like we we are human being we cannot make our food we cannot stand in the sun and say okay sunlight is falling we will get rain water will get air from the okay from the air we will get oxygen and we will prepare the food it is not possible for us <coughs> we don't have chlorophyll in our body so we are not like plant so we have to depend on plant and as well as we have to depend on animal for our food you see whatever we are eating from your breakfast to lunch dinner evening okay milk tea whatever you are taking everything medicines clothes for everything for our shelter <coughs> for everything we have to depend on plant or animals so we cannot prepare our own food so we are called as a consumers okay so when living organisms cannot prepare their own food they have to depend on plant and animal for their food for the survival okay so they are called what children they are called consumer so you see we human beings okay so we human beings are the <coughs> consumers now all animals are consumers so you see all the animals are also consumer truly you see animal also cannot prepare the food animal also they have to depend on plant animal also they have to depend on ind indirectly on the plant like flesh eating animal they depend on other small animal now this small animal they depend on the plant so indirectly or even all the animals also they cannot prepare their own food they also directly or indirectly have to depend on the plant okay so you see consumers can be of different types so we are going to see the first is about your herbivores you know children herbivores animals okay everyone knows you have learned from the junior class only okay so you see plant eating or the grass eating so plant eating animal are called herbivores like cow goat horse okay sheep they are what plant eating animals they are called herbivores why they are herbivores because they eat <coughs> plant okay so plant eating animals are called herbivores so you see this cow goat buffaloes so you see they have to depend on plant for the food by sitting in one place they cannot prepare their own food okay so they have to depend on plant for their food okay so they have to depend on plant for their food okay so you see they depend on plant for their food now see cow goat sheep elephant giraffe deer okay so all these animals are considered to be herbivores they are purely plant eating animal they don't depend on flesh they eat plant only that is why they are called herbivores these are the example of 
herbivorous. So you see these animals, they directly depend upon the plant for their food. Now you see here, cow or goat or sheep, anything, they cannot sit in the sunlight like a plant. They cannot prepare their food. So they have to depend upon the plant for their food. Okay. The next is about your carnivores. Now children, you know the carnivores means. <coughs> so flesh eating animal are called carnivores animals so they are the carnivores why because they eat flesh of the other animals okay so you see the carnivores feed on the herbivores whereas some uh, feed on the carnivores like lion tiger crocodile hawk snakes are example of carnivores now you see carnivores they eat they are flesh eating animal so some carnivores feed on herbivores okay for example you see Deer. <coughs> Deer is eaten by tiger. So tiger is your carnivorous. Deer is your herbivorous. So deer, it depends upon plants for their food. And tiger depends upon the other animals. Okay. For their food. So you see deer it will eat plant for survival as a food and tiger they will eat this herbivorous animal okay as their food so you see all so herbivorous so herbivorous animal they feed on the plant and carnivorous animal they feed on the herbivorous animals okay so you see indirectly everyone is dependent on the plant only so all are interdependent so deer is depending on plant and tiger is depending on the deer for their food. Okay, so all the flesh eating animals they depend upon each other for their food. Okay, so fox, crocodile, lion, tigers, you see what they do in the forest. They hunt small animals and they consume it. Okay, they enjoy their food. Even sometimes the buffaloes. Okay. 3-4 lion or 3-4 tigers they will capture and they will eat the flesh of that buffalo. So buffalo is also herbivorous animal. So herbivorous animals are eaten by the carnivorous animal as their food. Okay, so you see this way the example like you see snakes also children. <coughs> Snake depend upon the small frogs and all. Okay, so they are considered to be your flesh eating animals. Now next is omnivorous. You know the omnivorous means. Okay. You see animal that feed on both plant and animals. Okay. They are called omnivorous. Like we human beings. <coughs> we human beings also. We depend upon plant. We eat rice, wheat, vegetable fruits. Plus we depend on fish, meat, egg. Okay. So you see we all are depending on plant also. We eat the flesh of other animal like uh, goat okay hen we eat fish okay egg so you see we are okay we feed on both plant as well as on animals okay so such type of animal are called what omnivorous example is beer so beer is consuming plant also it depend on plant also it depend on animal also okay both and here we human beings also children some human beings are there they are herbivorous you can say they are vegetarians they don't eat any meat okay but many are there those are non-vegetarian so they will consume plants also they are consuming meat also that is other animals okay so when any animal they feed on both plant and animal they are called what they are called omnivorous animals okay the example is beer human being okay even crow also children they also consumes <clears throat> okay so these are the example of your consumer so you see herbivorous animal carnivorous animals omnivorous animal all are what all are known as your consumers because everyone depend upon plant or animal for their food did you want to know okay so you see they all are considered to be your consumers okay so this was about your consumers now next we are going to do for the scavengers <coughs>
so consumers was very easy children okay it was quite easy now we are going to do about scavengers okay s c a v e n g e r s okay so we are going to learn about the scavengers now what is a scavengers means now you see there are another types of animal that feed on the <coughs> excuse me sorry. so they are feed on the dead plants in animal you see in the forest <coughs> so many animal dies for example this lion and tiger they eat flesh of the other animals and after that they leave the dead body okay so you see that leftover also are eaten by some other animals they are called scavengers so in the forest you will see that uh, the dead bodies okay so they feed on the dead plants and animal either it is a plant dead plant or dead animal these animal the scavengers okay they feed on the dead plants and animal they are called what scavengers okay so scavengers play a very important role in keeping the environment clean by consuming the dead matter so you see when uh, in forest the animal dies so anyone will come to clean no no one will come to clean the forest so the scavengers what they do they will eat the dead plant or animal okay and they will clean the environment so the scavengers also plays very important role to clean the environment children so the scavengers okay they are vultures termites okay they are considered to be the okay they are vultures okay kite so you have seen vultures and kite they are very big okay so they are called scavengers they feed on the dead plant and animal even termites also small small insect white color okay they are called the termites <clears throat> so vulture they feed on the dead plant whereas termite feeds on the dead plant suppose today in your home one plant died you keep it you will see okay that dead plant will be consumed will be eaten by the termites small small white color insect so many insect will come and they will eat that dead plants okay and vulture they depends on dead animals termite they depend on dead plants <clears throat> so you see so example of scavengers are even your earthworm also children on rainy days you can see the earthworm they are also scavengers they also depend on dead animals and plant okay bear Hmm, snail so they are also types of your scavengers okay next we are going to talk about decomposer now so scavengers over now we are going to talk about decomposers d e c o m p o s c r s okay so we are going to talk about decomposers now children what do you mean by decomposer see so decomposer are microorganism they are very small small organisms which we cannot see sometime with our eyes with our naked eyes okay so such as bacteria and fungi they feed on the dead plants and animal matter so you see this uh, decomposer they are very microorganism which we cannot see with our eyes they are bacteria fungi so what they do they feed on the dead plant and animal if today suppose one rat dead you have thrown somewhere you will see after many days that dead rat will get vanished so who ate okay so all the microorganisms will consume it they are called decomposer so you see so they feed on the dead plants and animal now scavengers feed on the dead plant and animal and <clears throat> break them down into small pieces and the small pieces then enter by the decomposer they break down nutrition present in the matter in simple form and when they get mixed with the so you see this decomposer what they will do they are your <clears throat> bacteria and fungi so they will feed on the dead plant and animal so when they will feed on the dead plants and animal they will break into small small pieces and after that okay after that what they will do okay this nutrition they will break down the nutrition present in okay decaying matter and after that this uh, simple nutrition will be 
supplied to the soil okay and what will happen soil will become very fertile and in that soil when you will grow the plant it will grow very properly now for example in your home flower trees or any trees are there when the leaves falls if you keep it in one place all the dry leaves you see after few days it will get decay so decompose it will get okay all the fungi bacteria fungi will eat it so what will happen when it will get decay completely at that time you mix that in a soil your soil will become very fertile and whatever you will grow it will grow very properly okay so the process of breaking down the complex nutrition okay into a simpler substance by decomposing by decomposer is called decomposition so this fungi bacteria they help the dead bodies of animal and plant they consume they convert into nutrition they mix with the soil and the soil becomes very fertile and on those soil you can grow a very good plant and plants or any other trees so therefore decomposer play very important role so they play very important role in bringing the nutrition back to the soil and they protect the environment they save the environment okay children so today we have done about consumer scavengers and decomposer okay so these all you look the video and children you please study very properly okay so for today this much only thank you